Welcome everybody to this virtual keynote streaming to you from London, where we map out the roadmap for Ubuntu in 2013. Our mission is to make something extraordinary, something that has never existed before. One platform for all kinds of computing. Your phone, tablet, desktop and TV. Ubuntu is the first platform to aim for complete convergence of that whole range. We are already well on our way, and now we want to map out the next major step. 2012 was a milestone year for Ubuntu. We delivered 12.04 LTS, our latest long-term support release, which was met with rave reviews. The BBC said it was designed to outpace its rivals, and ZDNet said it was an excellent, stable, and extremely user-friendly desktop operating system. PC World said, Ubuntu 12.04 promises solid stability, seasoned with a glimpse at the future. Now, over the past two years, we completely redesigned the desktop. The new interface gives you much more space for the stuff that matters, like web pages and documents and movies. We brought the web to the desktop in a whole new way. So web applications are now first-class citizens in your launcher and switcher, instead of being trapped in a browser tab. But most of all, we brought all the different kinds of things you look for on your PC into one beautiful search experience in the home screen. So you can launch applications instantly, no hunting for them in menus or folders. You can find files on your PC without having to remember exactly where you put them. We even integrated online searches, so with one single keystroke, you can find your own music or find new music online. We also have the biggest names in the PC industry lining up behind us. Dell has launched the beautiful XPS 13 as a high-end developer workstation with Ubuntu and a range of tools for cloud developers pre-installed. Lenovo ships ThinkPads and IdeaPads all over the world pre-installed with Ubuntu. Asus is shipping laptops with Ubuntu pre-installed in Europe and we're very pleased to announce that HP is launching a large range of Ubuntu PCs in multiple markets. On the software front, we saw the major game manufacturers moving to support Ubuntu this year. Electronic Arts published games in the Ubuntu Software Center. Valve announced that the world's favorite game delivery system, Steam, is coming to Ubuntu. We're working hard to make sure that you can get all the zombie-crushing, alien-splattering gaming action you crave on Ubuntu. No more rebooting to Windows for that after-hours R&R. So that's why the Ubuntu phone is going to be magical. It brings together everything we've learned about how people want to use their apps and their information. And it fits perfectly into the Ubuntu family. This is a huge project. We can only make it a reality with many great partners, including developers, network operators, phone manufacturers, silicon providers. It will take all of us working together to make something extraordinary. Now, there are two key audiences for this phone OS. The first is an enterprise audience that wants the ability to combine phone and thin client and desktop into one highly secure device. We have all the security of Ubuntu with kernel-level control of every app that gets installed. So for the first time, you'll have all the security of Unix in your pocket. To make your life a little easier, we've also made sure that we can use Android kernels and Android drivers for the Ubuntu Phone OS. So if your hardware works with Android, then it will also work with Ubuntu. And bringing up the new phone experience on your hardware will be quick and cost-effective. Now, we're going to be at CES this year. Come and see us there. We'll also be showing the Ubuntu phone at MWC, and we'd love to give you a demo in person. If you want to discuss the phone with us, please email gomobile at ubuntu.com. Bringing Ubuntu to the phone is the single project I am personally most excited about, and I look forward to working with our industry partners to make it a reality. Last, I'd like to thank the whole extended family of partners, team members, and contributors who've made Ubuntu what it is and who've shaped this fantastic new initiative. And thank you too for joining us.